Today we'd like to show you variants of the common heat-induced antigen retrieval protocol. It combines the benefits of lower temperature for the neutrophil elastase antigen and high pH value that is required for histones. This technique allows to study NETs, neutrophil extracellular traps, in paraffin tissues, both from mouse or men. And is also considered to study archived material or retrospective study. First, place the prepared slides in racks and submerge them into the media used for dehydration and clearing in reverse order for 5 minutes each. Next, heat a water bath with a temperature-controlled hot plate to 70 degrees Celsius. Place a jar filled with heat-induced epitope retrieval buffer and 10% glycerol into the water bath. When the buffer has reached 70 degrees Celsius, place the rack with the slides into the buffer jar. Incubate the slides at 70 degrees Celsius for 120 minutes. After this, remove the jar from the water bath and let it cool to room temperature. Rinse the cooled sections three times with deionized water and one time with TBS. Using rolled filter paper or a cotton swab, carefully remove any liquid between the sections on the slides, making sure to leave the sections hydrated. Then. Use a hydrophobic barrier pen to create a barrier around each section.